Hey, what's going on everybody? This is robwillis.info here, and uh, it's actually been quite a while since I've uploaded a video. I've just been super busy with life and work and getting some training in and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I haven't really even had much time for my, uh, my traditional kind of projects. Um, so there's actually been something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, and um, I finally got the time set aside to, uh, to go ahead and get that done. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today in this video. So let me just do a quick review for those of you who aren't familiar with my server setup. Um, but basically I have a custom rack here that I built. Um, it's really just pine boarding and some 2x3s finished with some ebony stain. Um, just something to hold my servers basically. And then on the back half of it I have a sealed box that traps all of the heat that the servers generate. And then at the top of that box is some 6 inch flexible piping with a fan at each end and it's able to exhaust all the heat from the box directly out the window so it doesn't heat up the room and the servers are kept nice and cool and they run efficiently. So if this is working so well, why would I want to change it? Um, and the main answer is noise. Now don't, don't mind my drawing here, this is kind of just a rough sketch, um, but basically my game plan is uh, get rid of that single 6 inch hole at the top there and switch it up to two 8 inch holes and 8 inch powered fans and 8 inch ducting. Uh, so that way I can run more volume out but running the fans at a lower RPM and generating less noise. Uh, the 6 inch versions have worked great and they move plenty of volume, but they have to run at 100% so they make a lot more noise. Another thing with this new setup is that I'm going to be going from two powered fans to three um, and the third fan is either going to be mounted in the window or on the other side of the T. We'll see how that works out when we get there. Um, but these are all the parts that I'm going to be using to do this. Pretty much everything came from Amazon or Home Depot, nothing fancy. Um, but I've got some mounting brackets, a T, three powered fans, and then you'll see my adapter plate over there on the right that I already went ahead and made and stained and everything. Um, but that's just going to go on top of the box and it's going to cover up the existing 6 inch hole and also give me the, uh, the, the two new additional 8 inch holes that I'm going to be using to, uh, to mount the vans to. Alright, so it's been about a week now and uh, after some troubleshooting and trial and error, uh, this is ultimately what I came up with. Um, so as I planned before, um, I got an 8 inch powered fan on the left and right side of the top of the server rack there. Um, but I was also planning on putting a third fan mounted directly to the window. Um, but it had a few issues with that. Uh, one, it created a ton of noise in the room and it just like made a lot of reverb off the window. Um, but the other thing was there is an airflow issue that I didn't account for. And that's whenever you use a T like this, um, the airflow will tend to go up one side and down the other side with the way I have this positioned. And that's exactly what happened. So the fans were just fighting each other. So I moved the third fan to the right side of the T there, but you can't really see it because it's covered in that flexible piping. Um, but that created more negative pressure above the other fans, and now it pulls the heat directly up and then out the window as I originally planned. And you can see it all just flows through this flexible piping here. So I noticed whenever I cut the adapter plate for the box that the 8 inch holes um, definitely flow a lot of air out the top there, even without the ducting and the fans. Uh, so I think it's going to work out pretty good. Those, uh, those 8 inch holes are pretty big and can move a lot of air. Um, so, um, one of the other things about this setup was that now that I've got these bigger fans, they're 8 inches and they move 420 CFM a piece, um, I wanted to be able to dial them up and down since I know that I won't be needing all of that, uh, especially now that I know how well the air flows out the top of the box with those, those big 8 inch holes. Um, so this way I can kind of, you know, uh, depending on what my needs are that day, if I need more heat moved out, I can kind of dial them up. Or if I need to be quieter because i got to take a call, I can kind of dial them down a little bit and kind of adjust it to my needs. Alright, so one other thing I want to talk about real quick is how do I cool the servers? So if you see all these little slots on the front of the hard drives here, and then these little spaces above the hard drives here as well, these are all cool air intakes. And so the way servers are built is they're generally open in the front, and they'll bring the cool air in there, and then throughout the middle of the chassis they're just sealed units. So it pulls all the cool air in the front, moves it through the chassis, cools down the components, and then expels all the hot air directly out the back. So I'm basically taking advantage of that design. Um, so what I have here is a hot side and a cold side. Um, so on the cold side, I can just have the normal cool air conditioned air fed into the servers and then I can capture all the heat that's expelled off the back in a box and exhaust it directly out the window. And you can see that the box, ha it's actually a very nice tight fit. It's actually sealed, so I've got weather stripping that I run around there and then you can see exhaust just directly up and out through those ducts, through those 8 inch holes. And I've gotten some wooden dowels here that actually made up to the back of the server rack and that helps me line it up nice and tight and then you see the weather stripping there. So I get a nice, not quite airtight, but pretty close seal. Um, enough that it'll keep all the heat in and keep it from leaking out into the room. And then also allowing, you know, a nice tight fit so that it can just, you know, get a good suction, pull all that air through the servers and then 
go right up and out. And you can see I have a, a new adapter plate there that I made with a, uh, a nice ebony finish on there well. So now it finally actually uh, it sits level and it's nice and smooth. But uh, yeah. All right, so she's all back together now. And you can see that now with the box back on, with, between those hook and eyes and those wooden dials, that box really lines up nice and tight and uh, is really snug and secure on the back there. So it really helps keep all that heat in. Um, but yeah, so I'll say overall, it's definitely been a very effective project. Um, it's a lot quieter, that's for sure. And it's also nice to be able to dial the fans up and down and kind of have some extra, you know, room for, for if I need to crank it up, basically. Um, but some of the servers I've been powering off a lot more. And uh, you can see that I got those, uh, the black blankets there. And that's actually to help keep the heat in and uh, kind of just clean it up overall as far as looks go. Um, but it's nice to be able to, I can power some of the servers off and turn the cooling down. Um, but say I'm spinning up a bunch of VMs and I've got all my servers up and I'm making a lot of heat. I could just go ahead and crank those fans up and I'm still good to go. And so I think that's where I'm going to wrap this one. I hope you guys enjoy my crazy projects. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.